You join me for my first playtest of Animal Crossing, Let's Go to the City. Animal Crossing, a title that uh, GameCube users will be familiar with, some uh, DS users also, but this is its first outing on the Wii platform, and uh, it really is a, a natural Wii game. I'm using the nunchuck and the Wiimote together, and uh, instantly moving my character around this huge sort of social networking environment is actually very intuitive and very easy. One of the things that you get with the, the game is the new Wii Speak, which is a microphone, it's just there by the Wii unit, that enables anyone in the room where you're playing the game to talk at the same time, so that um, aspects of this game that include connecting to new cities created by other players uh, and having conferences with uh, rooms full of uh, Animal Crossing players can be made possible. Graphically, the game's quite basic. It's that sort of Japanese cartoon style that um, many Nintendo fans will be familiar with. In this cute simulation of uh, the ideal Nintendo world, um, you just are. It's just about living and moving around your community. But to give you an idea of the sort of activities you might get up to, um, one of the things that I've been trying to do as I've played it for the last few hours is to try and find valuable items. So you can get your stuff for your house, like you know, pictures for the wall and furniture and that sort of thing. But there are rarer items, for example, the classic retro Nintendo games consoles that you can actually play old school games on that I remember from when I was younger. Oh, what have we got there? Hey, found myself a shell. Hey, found a shell. If you find something truly valuable, then you can connect uh, online to other Animal Crossing communities uh, and hold an auction and sell off your precious goods, which I think is great. If you play nothing but Animal Crossing and you think you've acquired just about all the available assets in the game, then Nintendo have cleverly promised that they're going to be um, making ready a whole bunch of downloadable items. And apparently many of them are seasonal, so depending on the season in the game, if it's winter or summer or whatever, those items will reflect that. Also, if you've played the DS version and you've created a character and you've got a whole bunch of um, items that you're proud of in your stash, you can simply import them into the game, your new character and all of your various bits and pieces. This isn't the sort of game that I get particularly excited about. I mean, I've been through the kind of sim world thing. I've been through that stage of my gaming life. But I think in terms of, of that genre, Nintendo have actually got a winner on their hands here. It's very cute, it's very, very playable. And actually, because of the amount of stuff you can buy and trade and the online element to it, it it's highly addictive. <laughs>